changes are in store for Penske Racing. Hi everyone and welcome to this edition of the CBSSports.com NASCAR Team Review and Preview and a look at the Penske Racing Team. The 2008 season started off with a bang for Penske after a 1-2 Ryan Newman-Kurt Busch finish in the Daytona 500. The two teammates were able to draft around Tony Stewart and Kyle Busch on the final lap with Newman crossing the finish line first to give legendary car owner Roger Penske his first ever win in the Great American Race. Don't have the words. Um, it's it's awesome. I mean, it's uh, it's on. It's the, probably the most uh, awesome thing that's ever happened to me uh, in all the, the, you know, to understand all the history of, of uh, NASCAR, of uh, racing in general, and you know, at the drivers' meeting to uh, to be looking face to face with all the guys, the greats that um, were on stage up there, and now to be part of one of those guys and, and part of that team is just on awesome. Um, I've always said Indianapolis was great to be able to walk in the garage area and know that you're touching the same footprints as other guys that uh, were, were such great drivers for the last 100 years there. And just to uh, to be part of the 50th running of the Daytona 500, you know, 15 years ago I was sitting in the grandstands in the Seagrave Tower, and it's uh, it's awesome to uh, to make uh, make the changes. But things went downhill from there for Newman, who ended the season with only two top five and eight top ten finishes on his way to ending up 17th in the final Spring Cup Series point standings and out of the chase. Bush was able to go to victory lane later in the year when he picked up the victory in June's rain-shortened finish at New Hampshire. You know, it's a tough battle. Um, there's the good years and then there's the bad years. And a year like this is uh, definitely a character builder. It, um, it teaches you to, to fight from within and to, to keep reaching and to keep pushing harder each and every week uh, to have a shot at trying to get back into the top 15 in points or top 12 or even just try to crack uh, the top 10 barrier each and every week. You're, you're, you're working hard and, and you got to keep things on a level field to know that, hey, you can still do this, everything's going to be fine. Uh, we just got to work through this to get this new car to work better for Penske Racing. The former series champion also missed the chase with an 18th place finish in the standings, but did end the year with a string of solid finishes that give the number two team confidence heading into the offseason. Third teammate Sam Hornish Jr. finished 35th in the final standings, and the former open wheel star made it through his rookie campaign, able to guarantee himself a starting spot in next season's first five races. The three-car Dodge team comes back next year with a new look, as Newman departs the number 12 for the new Stewart Haas racing team and is replaced by veteran David Stremme, who spent 2008 in the Nationwide Series and as Penske's lead Spring Cup test driver. He joins Bush and Hornish for 2009 as Penske Racing looks to improve after a season that began strong but ultimately ended in disappointment. For the CBSSports.com NASCAR Team Review and Preview, this is Pete Pistoni reporting.